Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I'm not going to do this too often, but I want to show you something. This is what my setup looks like currently. There is a stack of DVDs, which I put my front camera on because I'm using my phone now. I'm not using my camera anymore because my camera is not really designed to make videos. <laughs> it's designed to take pictures and it's been very irritating because every 10 minutes, I have to reset the camera because it doesn't record for more than 10 minutes and then it also overheats. So if the day is a little bit hot, then it won't do the third 10 minutes and then it's kind of ruined. So I use this phone to do my front camera and then I use my old phone to do the top camera. But now what I've been doing up until now for the top camera was I would have a stack of DVDs set up over here and then I would take this little plank that has a bag of stones on the end and then I'd put it on the DVDs and then it kind of weighed itself out. There you go, now you can see what my, my top camera setup looks like so that it can look at whatever is happening down there. But now as you can see I had to take all the DVDs that were standing on that stack and put them on top of this stack because this is all the DVDs that we have. I need to find a way of having the front camera stand here because if I use this it's a little too far this is nice and close so I needed to make a grid for the table for this to work so what we're gonna do today is really fun but it's mainly Manu who's gonna do it my husband we're gonna make a grid for the top camera Yay! let's go see what he's doing so we're DIYing it we're using things that we already have <laughs> So that is the, what is it called? That is a square tubing that's going to stand against the table itself. And then we're going to need something to put the phone on to make it go up and down. Manu has a cool idea, but we're going to go look for wood. We've got a lot of wood as well. I didn't know we had this much wood. It mustn't be really good quality because who cares? It's just going to hold the phone. So we're going to find wood that's going to work. Okay, so this is the wood that we have. It's actually quite a lot of wood, but there's too many nice pieces of wood, like this pine over here. I mean, my husband says pine is not that great. Um, it's the cheapest, but I mean, you can do something really nice with that piece of plank. I guess this would probably work best, although kind of feels a bit short. Yeah, it might be a little short. So let's look at this piece maybe. Then it's a bit too long, but with this piece, we could probably, we could probably saw it down a little bit. You see, it's it's really a rubbish wood. I don't like this wood. A while ago, my dad built desks for his office and this was the leftover wood after building the desks. So we're going to use something like this. It will be perfectly good. I found a piece of wood I want to use. There's a smaller one, but it's not long enough. It's going to crumble. Is this not going to work? No, it's going to crumble. So what wood should we use? Probably a real wood. So uh, we're going to use something like this. It will be perfectly good. We're taking it back. So I'm assuming we're probably going to use that piece of pine that I thought looked really nice and could be used for something else. There's that piece there, this piece. It's pretty thick. Ugh. But I mean, he said use real wood, so if he's okay with giving up this piece of wood, even though it's really nice and could be used for so many nice things, and I guess we will use this one.
Together. Aren't you proud of us? Mm. We're geniuses. We're genius eye. Okay, I'm still going to have to put something in between here. Mm. But what? What about this? That you haven't done yet. Oh, yeah. You're just lazy, huh? Hey? Yep. <laughs> We're going to put boiled linseed oil on. So well, I'm first taking the thinners and just wiping okay. it down to get rid of the dust. Okay. And that shirt that he is holding is a worn out, just married shirt. Clearly we've been married for too long. <laughs> We got the basic idea already, but now we need to try and figure out how to keep have it stuck to the table. Fix that to this. And then? You mean when it's fast? I don't know. Okay, so I didn't record that properly. Those two pieces of square tubing are going to be stuck to each other, and then they're going to be stuck to this piece of metal. And then the two things are going to be stuck to that guy. And that is how it's going to stand here, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I don't quite know what he's actually doing right now. But I trust him because he knows how to DIY stuff. Look at my glasses. Okay, more or less, where are you going to want the thing? Sit here, fish. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to clamp it now as a very temporary solution because what we want to do is put a 10 mil, what's it called? A 10 mil threaded rod and then, but we don't have a 10 mil nut to put on it so it's not going to, it's not really going to work. Okay, there you go. There is my grid. That was fun. <laughs> my nose is a little tired and over it by now. Yeah. Ah, stop can go nice and low and can go really high and I guess what I could do when I'm like not working I can just put it all the way to the bottom or something like that all right there you go that is how to make 
a camera grid for the top camera if you want to make a top camera grid DIY and you are using your cell phone. This is if you can temporarily put a stick or a square tubing permanently against your table then you can do this but other than that other than the 10 mil nut we had everything at home that we used to make this DIY um, camera grid. We didn't have to buy anything. Please like and subscribe and next week I'm going to make artsy fartsy videos again. I'm not gonna make videos like this very often because I didn't do any of the work. This was my husband. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and didn't hate me and didn't unsubscribe because of this video. Anyways, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.